right now pal world is so much fun that it has the xbox community doing this Here comes the ponies with The Last of Us 2 to spoil everything. <laughs> Let me just say that no one expected Pal World to do what it is doing right now. Not Nintendo, not Sony, the only company that had the vision to back, uh, you know, PAL World was Microsoft. Microsoft took the chance to highlight this game on their showcase several times, uh, to back the devs several times, and now it is paying off. Because if it is you don't have a PC, you can play PAL World uh, exclusive on xbox game pass and you know the discussion around the internet the discussion around the gaming industry is pal world because pal world is basically killing it it's the new fire it's the new ice and it's the new water pal world is doing something that pokemon should have done 10 years ago but what's the funny thing in all of this is that Sony fans are trying to convince themselves that PAL World is not a console exclusive to the Xbox. For the meantime, you see, until this game comes to PlayStation, because the PlayStation fans had the Boulder's Gate argument, because I recall the PlayStation fans saying that a Boulder's Gate was a timed exclusive, and because it didn't come to Xbox, you know, it was an exclusive to PlayStation as a, um, on the console. So now the same thing applies. If this game is not on PlayStation, then this is a console exclusive. <laughs> you see, earlier on this uh, year, I recall Sony fans saying that Xbox has nothing to play for the first three months in 2024. You know why they said that? Because they didn't even consider PAL World to be a game. They didn't even consider pal will to be anything but now the only thing uh you know these sony fans could talk about is pal will is it coming to the playstation <laughs> listen say hey this is a big win for xbox and while i don't disagree it's clear that the game is crushing on steam in far greater numbers and this is not a first party xbox game many have tried you know many are trying to draw tally marks on the board for xbox it's like xbox didn't develop this game now xbox is a great platform because they have game pass they have the preview program and that benefits you as a consumer those are things worth celebrating but you can't talk about this game as if this is something that xbox gave you they didn't make it they're not the one delivering it again I think the scorekeeping is just sort of silly. This inevitably leads to something that I'm seeing pushed by many of the Xbox loyal. They're saying, lock this down as an Xbox exclusive. See Let me just say, Reforge, that that's a very stupid take. You are saying that because Xbox did not make PAL World, because they didn't produce it, that this isn't a win for uh, Xbox? It's very clear that uh, the executive teams, whether it be Phil Spencer, Matt Booty, or um sarah bond they did what they needed to do to highlight this game several times on their main stage in addition to that you're seeing that they would have done what they needed to do to get this game to come to the xbox platform and because of that xbox and the team need to get some credit for that so for that stupid take reforge hold on to this I don't know either. <laughs> so what we are going to talk about today, we are going to talk about how Pokemon fans, not Nintendo fans, but Pokemon fans are saying this to Pal World. Wait a minute. Who are you? Yes, the Pokemon fans are livid about Pal World's success, about what Pal World has done, which is the claim is taking you know uh the models from pokemon and implementing it into palwell we'll talk about that we'll also talk about how 
a past Pokemon dev is saying that Palwool is a ripoff and it's a cheap imitation. We'll also talk about how Sony fans are lying on the Xbox community when it comes to the threats. We would see that as well. So we'll look at that and more on today's video. So let's talk about it. This is a sickness. Let's get it. Before we start, let me introduce you to a new one. Did you know Gaming Facts with Joe? Brought to you by the subscribe button. According to the title Max website, did you know that Pokemon is the top selling franchise of all time? Yes, Pokemon has made the most money of any other franchise in the world and that is including Mario. We are saying Pokemon is number one, Mario is number two then Call of Duty is number three. So yes, Pokemon is beyond huge. It is massive. It is gigantic when it comes to sales and as a franchise. Now, anyone would kill to have a game like Pokemon. No doubt we are seeing the uprise of different uh, games like Pokemon because it's very popular. And it's very surprising that they did not do much with this franchise when it comes to advancing it for the 21st century but let me hear what you think about that game in facts now this game in facts is brought to you by the subscribe button if you have not done it yet hit that subscribe button for more gaming facts for more gaming history and more salt than your body could handle <laughs> so pal world is continuing to do well we know that pal world are made two million in just uh 24 hours and then sold uh, 3 million in 40 hours. We know Spider-Man 2, if we were to look at a comparison, sold 2.5 in just a day and then 5 million in 11 days. Well, Pal World sold 5 million in just 3 days. So Pal World, this brand new IP, destroyed Spider-Man, uh, a very old uh, IP, um, destroyed it in just 3 days. Wow! Now let's listen as a past uh, Pokemon lawyer, uh, someone who was involved in Pokemon for years, comment on Palworld. Listen on. Pokemon's former legal boss says Palworld looks like ripoff nonsense. I'm just surprised it got this far, says Don McGowan. The former chief legal officer for the Pokemon Company International has said that the breakout hit Palworld looks like ripoff nonsense. Don McGowan who led the Pokemon Company's legal team for almost 12 years, was commenting on the game amid claims that its developer Pocket Pair plagiarized designs from Nintendo's game series. This looks like the usual ripoff nonsense that I would see a thousand times a year when I was chief legal officer of Pokemon, he told Game File. I'm just surprised it got this far. Palworld is described by its creator as an action-adventure survival game, in which players can battle and capture pals to use for base building, traversal, and combat. Despite its significantly different tone and game style, many of Palworld's monster designs bear striking similarities to Pokémon's, earning it the internet nickname, Pokémon with Guns, when it was revealed last summer. But following its massively successful release for PC and Xbox last week, an anonymous X account appeared online claiming to show evidence of not just design inspiration, but plagiarism of actual assets from Pokémon Scarlet and Violet. On Monday, Palworld director and Pocket Pair CEO Takuro Mazo published a response to allegations of plagiarism. While he didn't deny being influenced by Pokemon, he said the game's artists had received online abuse and called for it to stop. We are currently receiving abusive and defamatory comments against our artists, in addition to tweets that appear to be death threats, he wrote on X, translated by VGC. While we have received various opinions about Palworld, it is important to note that the supervision of all materials related to Palworld is conducted by a team, including myself. I bear the responsibility for the produced materials. I would appreciate it if these comments towards artists involved in Palworld would cease. Wow. So I'm sensing a lot of salt from the past legal uh, team lead for Pokemon. Um, we know that Pal will so is heavily influenced by Pokemon and we also know that it has strong you know arc survival legend of zelda um, you know mechanics and also gameplay 
so we cannot only say it is like pokemon um but we are seeing that you know the legal aid is surprised that this game reached this far but let me hear what you think is the legal uh, team lead the past legal team lead a bit salty that this game is you know becoming so popular but we are not stopping there we know that pal world would have just broken um, a record a steam record becoming the highest concurrent uh, player for any paid game at 1.5 million persons playing the game in real time i think that was broken yesterday or so um so pal world again is um just breaking another record now that is not stopping sony fans from making up a lot of things about xbox fans when it comes to pal world listen to this lie this pony said about xbox fans when it came to pal world so we have an ancient pony a very old pony alex smith he is saying regular xbox players are sending emails to pal world community leader so that the game is not released on playstation among these messages we have death threats so this ancient pony here alex smith is again lying about what xbox fans are doing how do we know that he's lying because the community uh, leaders said this we have received no death threats from anyone in regards to console support no threats from any xbox playstation or pc players about anything console or platform related you see you see how these ponies are sick i told you guys it is a sickness that these ponies they do it now it's not only ancient ponies like um that smith guy there there are even actual developers on sony's side who is showing a bit salt when it comes to palbul look at this so del walker says my gut is telling me pal world was made nefariously i just have no proof just dev intuition no accusation until proof but there's some hidden malfeance here watson i can sense it so who is del walker you may ask well he is a naughty dog senior developer or senior artist yes he works at naughty dog yes he works at naughty dog but because he is a fellow islander i will give him a little ease up um mr well walker instead of focusing on pal will why not focus on answering this question where is factions you told us to wait we waited and you're still not here neil Druckmann, where are you my final thoughts on the matter is this i love nintendo i have fond memory of playing nintendo games however i have an issue with creatures inc which is a separate entity from nintendo you see they are the ones who are have the majority control of pokemon and for years they have not done anything to innovate pokemon they have the money it's the highest selling franchise in the world so why not give your fans something you are seeing how hungry persons are for, for pokemon why not give your fans a really good pokemon game instead of the you know shovel where you have been giving pokemon fans for years persons have been asking for any kind of pokemon game similar to what pal world is doing and guess what pal world saw the need and they are filling it so the, the success of pal world is due to pokemon lack of innovation so that's my thoughts on it i want nintendo to do well i want the pokemon company to do well and guess what this competition will will make sure that they do it so this is all that we spoke about today let me know what you thought about all the topics don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys in the next one later